<laughs> and there are smiles going all the way across this stage watching that playback because we've got Brent Key, we've got Haynes King, and we've got Christian Leary here on set with us after they just took down a top 20 Miami team. I'm coming to you first, Christian. Okay. Because yeah. that was your first catch of the game, and it was right. the game-winning touchdown. Has a first catch ever felt that good? Never. I don't think never. <laughs> I don't think never. But it, it definitely felt good to get the dub tonight. You know, we – uh. We, we, we really tried to come together this week, and that's what we did. And we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't finish. I mean, we didn't stop till it was over. So we fought to the end. Haynes, what was that like from your perspective? You, you can't put words around that. I mean, it, it, we, we've worked during the week, like scramble rules. Uh, we, we've been honing in on all that, and that, that was to win the game right there. And he did his job, and I did my job, and right. we got the job done. Yeah. It, was just, it was just crazy how, how gritty we are and, and how gritty the whole team is. And Coach, you talked about cool the team playing 60 minutes. What did you say to him in the locker room after the game? I might have. It's well, late night, so you can really say what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> uh, saying the fight song. <laughs> <laughs> saying that. But no, that's what it's about. Yeah, and we've been, we, we knew we had a good football team. And I've told these guys that, that we had a good football team. All right, we just hadn't played as a good football team for 60 minutes every game. And it was time to do that. And, and we, we, the, the, the whole thing this week was, you know, we talk about identity and, you know, culture and standard and all those things well this week it, 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 everyone says play regardless of the scoreboard don't look at the scoreboard well change it up a little bit this week and talk about you know creating an identity that was independent of a clock right and we talked about on Friday that we were going to take three to four variables that that defined the way you're supposed to play the football game and when we got uh, when we got back together as a team we were going to pull clips and not show the scoreboard, not show the clock, not show what time of the game it was. And we we're going to put them up in front of the whole team and see if the team game, could tell what was the first quarter, what was the end of the game. And that's creating an identity that's independent of any clock or scoreboard. Wow. It's powerful stuff, Coach. And, and I can only imagine the emotion coming off of last week, having to make a very difficult decision in the middle of a season, and yet the defense put up an unbelievable performance tonight and ultimately put you in a position where these guys could be successful. What did you see from them, and how proud of you of that side of the ball? Extremely proud. You, know, you talk about resilient. You know, guys, you know, look, everything we do is going to be in the best interest of these players here, All right, in the best interest of Georgia Tech. And, and I told the team that. I met with them on Sunday night, and I told them first. I told them by myself and, you know, just me and them in there because that's the respect that they've earned, and that, that's, that's what they deserve. And, yeah, they're difficult decisions you have to make, but we've got to make the best for this football team. And, you know, I thought the, the, you know, not, you know, the, the coaches rallied this week around, uh, around Kevin. Uh, I thought the players rallied around Kevin. Um, you know, we had a spirited practice on Wednesday, didn't we? It was a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was a brotherly love practice on Wednesday, wasn't it? Definitely. So, uh, well, but. Well, Haynes, I've thrown a, a, a couple game winners like that, but I remember oh. when I did throw it. Come on, come on. Oh, it's about Haynes now. Come on, man. Let's go. How long the ball would be in the air. So, that, how was your experience from when you actually let it go from your hands? Because you don't want to miss it too. It's almost like a layup. He's wide open. You got to give it to him. How'd it feel for you? Just reacted. I, I didn't even. Like, oh, I, just reacting. That, that's the best way to do it. You, you can't watch the ball in the air. You just got to look at you. Just like shooting a basket. You, yeah. You're looking at the basket. You're not sh looking at the ball. You're gonna miss it. Right. Just throw it. Sorry. Just, just react and go. Play. Play football. Hey. What was you thinking when that ball in the air? Well, I was just like, please God. I don't got no catches on the night. I'm gonna have one. That's so, uh, how we the get one. that one. This, this, this the one. For me hey. to count. You almost slid too early. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Are you like, hey. nah. <laughs> like, hey. like, hey. like, hey. uh, <laughs> You good, bro? I definitely knew I was in there. Okay. But, okay. But I, I knew they was gonna try to have some controversy with it. But we good. We here. <laughs> we here. I got a question. Are you guys gonna go to sleep tonight? <laughs> no. Well, not me. Don't say that in front of Coach. <laughs> I'm not asking you okay? where you're going. Coach not going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Coach, what was the message when you got that ball back? I mean, to these guys, and, and then I want to know your mindset after Coach tells us here. Look, you know, we, we talked this week. We said there's no more need to rally people up after the you know after the first quarter. You know, have a powerful rah rah. You know, you know, Newt Rotney speech at halftime. And, you know, we brought everybody together between the third and the fourth that we do. But it, it, if we truly do believe in what we talked about this week, and we truly are becoming the team that we want to be. 
Hey, you don't need to talk to guys. Just go do your job. All right, we still have time on the clock. All right, that's a blessing. That's 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 a, a, such a fortunate position to be in to still be able to play football a little bit longer. So, hey, so I hold, hold on, I want to okay. know just mindset. After y'all kind of said that, I mean, was it like let's go be legendary, let's go win this game? What what were you thinking? Because there was essentially no time left. This is what we do. Hey. That's what I told everybody. I was like, this is what we do. This is what makes us right here. Let's go get it. It's amazing. Wow. Coach, you had a moment on the field afterwards, just kind of taking it in with all your players. You guys ran over here because this is where y'all's fans were as well. I know for you, it's all about these guys, and it's all about Georgia Tech football, and you're so proud to have played there and to now coach here. What does it feel like for you when you're standing out on that field, you've come to Miami, you've knocked off the top 20 team, and you get to see these guys celebrating this win? That's what it's all about. It truly is, and, and you know, it's to take a group of guys that are from from all over. I mean, you you, you got two guys here that were you know transferred in this year. Uh, you got guys on the team that have been here for four years, five years, some six years. Uh, but none of that matters. It's all you know the brotherhood that we have. It's uh, it, it's it's one team. It's one heartbeat. And look, sometimes you're gonna skip a beat every now and then. And you know, we said last week that that game. We had last week was gonna it was gonna define us regardless. All right, it was our choice of how it defined us. Coach, how do you build that brotherhood so quickly? I don't know. Ask them. <laughs> Competition. What did you say? Competition. Yeah. Just competing every day. Good on good. Yeah. Get after it. See who wins. What does it mean to you guys, Christian, you first, to be able to have the opportunities, talking about transferring in and being a part of this program, to be a part of Georgia Tech football and what he's trying to build here? Um, it means a lot, you know, just having a bunch of brothers on the same page. You know, we all have one common goal. Just moving from there is all I really needed to uh, get me here and, you know, we rocking. Well, that was a big one for both of you guys. And, Coach, congratulations. Awesome. You guys come on the road. It's their ACC opener, and you guys spoiled the Miami night. So, congratulations. Can't wait to see what you guys are able to do the rest of the season. Yeah, congrats, Thanks. brothers. Congrats, congrats. gentlemen. Yeah.